Hi everybody, Dr. Cobb back with you. Hope you're having a fantastic week. This week I want to talk about a research study that was just published last month that relates to a lot of the topics that we cover in Z-Health related to the brain. Now, if you've been watching the seven videos that we have up on the website now or reading anything about Z-Health recently, you know that we talk a ton about the brain, that the brain and its functional uh, capacity is really where we derive all of our ideas about health and fitness and rehabilitation from. Now, the study that was published was very interesting to me because what it looked at was a simple test of what they call system integrity, called reaction time, and mortality. And this was a study that looked at people over 15 years. Basically what they looked at, it took about 5,000 people, and they gave them a very simple reaction time test. In other words, they're sitting looking at a computer screen, there's a button that they have to push, and when something flashes up on the screen, they have to hit the button. And then we measure how quickly they can do that. So they did this initial test, and then they followed up these people for 15 years. And what they discovered was that the people that had the slowest reaction times in the early phases of testing actually had a 25% greater risk of dying in the following 15 years. Now that may sound a little bit weird, but from our perspective, it is a, uh, it's evident that that's an interesting test that looks at, as I said, system integrity. How is the brain processing information? In other words, how are the eyes functioning? Are the eyes able to take in information, send that information to the brain, have the brain make a decision about it, and then enact that through the muscles of the body? Now, why does this matter to you? Well, what we're going to do is at the end of this video, we're going to actually put a link to some simple online tests, some simple online reaction games that you can play, and you can actually test and see where you're at. Now, this is not to say that if you do these tests and you don't score uh, super well on them, that you're going to die. Okay? I don't want you to take it that way because that's not how science works. But what I do want you to understand is that reaction time, just like everything else in the human body, can be improved with training. Now, am I saying that if you work on your reaction time, it may prevent you from dying? Again, I'm not saying that. We can't take science and extrapolate it to that point yet. But from my perspective, if I'm looking at being as healthy as possible for as long as possible throughout my whole life, and it takes me a few minutes, a few times a week, to work on my reaction time, and it may have a positive impact on my brain and the rest of my body, do you think I'm gonna try it? Absolutely, I'm gonna give it a shot. So, like I said, I just wanna encourage you this month uh, to explore this idea. Take a few minutes each day. If you play video games with your kids, if you uh, get one of these links or follow one of the links after the video, play some games on your computer, see where you fall. Because as I said, it's a really fascinating study because in, in relationship to what they looked at, what they after they controlled for all the other factors, they found that reaction time was second only to smoking in predicting mortality over 15 years. So to me, this is, as I said, a really telling study. It's a really telling idea. And it's something that I want us to all be considering because I love simple things that I can do to test myself and to improve myself on a daily basis. And working on your reaction time may give you some incredible results going forward. So take that for what it's worth. I hope that's interesting to you. Please let us know if you have any questions, if we can help you in any way this week. Thanks.